Hey guys and welcome back to a new episode of Secret Guppy Creek in Germany. One thing in advance, many things have changed since I've been there. Some animals disappeared while some incredible new species came up. So stay tuned, it is worth it. I filmed this video nearly one and a half years after my previous visit. Just in case you don't know my first visit, just click on the link in the video description or the top right corner. There you learn all important facts about the secret Guppy Creek. The creek's temperature and the water parameters didn't change that much during the past year. Just have a look at it. However, the recent visit revealed a low water level in most places only 10 to 15 centimeters. Therefore, the flow has increased sharply. The water is wheeled up in some areas and small waterfalls enrich the stream with oxygen. As you already know, the stream is a so-called warm creek, which means that the stream is fed with warm water throughout the year. However, the stream consists of three different areas. Every area is characterized by one species of fish. The creek's initial area still is full of guppies. On my last visit, there were thousands of little shrimps. But now, they are all gone. Yes, you got it right, no shrimps at all. I guess that they are almost eradicated by emerging perch or bass species. The upper area was heavily overgrown by Naya squadulupensis, also known as southern water nymph or guppy grass. This grass almost created some undersea meadows and gave shrimp and small guppies many hiding places to rest. One and a half years later it is just gone. Just have a look at the same exact place. As you can see, you see nothing. It rather looks like a moonscape now. The middle part is still dominated by mollies, mostly the Dalmatian form. The appearance and fin shape almost stayed the same during the past few years. Apparently, the mollies develop back to their wild form. On the shore, where there is the least flow, young fish hide between reed. Probably to have some rest from nasty perches or grey herons looking for food. Valisneria are located further down the stream, where the flow is greatest. This area is still dominated by convict cichlids. In 2021, blood red jewel cichlids were a rarity. Now you'll find them in bigger groups between the convict cichlids. Right before I wanted to leave this wonderful place, I noticed something special in my own video footage. 
look at it for yourself. Did you notice? It's a completely new type of cichlid which probably originates from Lake Malawi in Africa. I guess it's a female Aulonacora. After this finding, I had to double check the spot where I found the new type. What I saw there completely took my breath away. As you can see, someone just recently dropped his fish from Lake Malawi there. That is why I could capture a Pseudotrophaeus socolophi, also known as Pindani, and a Melanchromis mangano on camera. Melanchromis mangano is a shy species. Let's see if this species will survive and establish. A big thank you to Malawi Aquascape from Poland, helping me out to find the correct species. If you like Malawi cichlids, just check out his Insta channel. Well, that's all for now. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to write them in the comment box below. Please leave me a like to support my channel. See you next time. Take care, Ben.